Hi, my name is Jan. Welcome to Butterfly Tracks. It's a rainy day here. Last week's video was the road trip from Flagstaff to Sedona. Beautiful, beautiful road trip. But I didn't stay in either town because it was so cold at the time. I ended up in another town close by, Cottonwood. It was actually warm and green and there were there was grass for the dogs. It was a very nice time that I spent there. Flagstaff, Sedona, and Cottonwood are fairly close to each other, probably around, I don't know, 50 miles apart, but they're like stair steps in elevation. Flagstaff is the highest elevation, and then the stair step down is Sedona, and then Cottonwood at the lower elevation. So it was nice and warm there. I was wanting to go to the Grand Canyon, but it was just freezing cold at Flagstaff and beyond, so I never did make it there. I spent a little time in Cottonwood waiting, but it just never happened. I spent my days in the nice little park that they have there with the cottonwood trees snowing all around us. That's where I did my kitchen tour. On my last day there, I met her right before I was going to leave. I met Sherry in her high top no build van and we did her uh, van tour just kind of on the spur of the moment. I really wish I'd met Sherry earlier. We would have camped together because Sherry was staying on BLM land. That's Bureau of Land Management public lands that are open for people to camp for free. And there is a famous Forest Road 525 uh, almost midway between Sedona and Cottonwood. And it was just full of campers, lots and lots of campers. But it's such a long road that uh, most of them are within shouting distance, but you can't really see them for the um, shrubbery that's there. I do love to choose music for the video that really suits exactly how I'm feeling. And on that day, on that rocky, rough road, I was feeling really confident and I was gonna rock it. I wasn't the least bit afraid when I was there, partly because there were a lot of people around, but because it was just so beautiful. So I hope you enjoy that. And then there's this odd little town. Uh, well, the people that live there probably don't think it's odd. I'm sorry, uh, but I didn't expect it. It was just four miles outside of Cottonwood, pretty much. And and it's just that Jerome, Arizona is is a very unusual town. It's a historic little town and it's built literally on the side, just clinging to the side of a mountain. And then there are some houses that are built on the face of a cliff <laughs> up pretty high. The roads have some wicked curves in them and they're very steep. So this is not the kind of place that I would have gone walking around with my little bit of vertigo that I have. I have a problem. I'm going to show you the solution to that problem at the very end of the video. I have a mouse in my van. Not only that, but it is in the headliner of my van. This is a disaster. And I'm also going to discuss having dogs in van life. Traveling with dogs. Two tips. Two very useful animal related in this case tips. concerned about is whether I can get this low rider in there. I don't have a lot of clearance. It is front wheel drive, but that won't help if I buy them out. <laughs>
Our guest today is another YouTuber. Her channel is My Son's Mother, and she has given me some tips on how to get rid of a mouse that's in my van. Okay, so what we have are some bags, some little bags that can be used for weddings, weddings favors. and wedding favors. And what we have in this bag is some mothballs, very inexpensive. And you can hang these around in your van or you could put them in your engine to keep them out of your engine. And another thing she uses is peppermint oil. She puts that on cotton balls and then puts them in again these wedding favor bags that so that they can be hung all over she recommends that you use uh, some of each some of the mothballs and some of the peppermint oil she also has a fly ribbon that she recommends for inside your van if you have a problem with flies i think traveling with dogs is ideal i have two little dogs Coco and Susie. You may have seen them in my last video. The biggest time you have to worry about keeping them comfortable is really in the hotter weather. I have been in some towns that don't have shade. That They have very little shade. If there's a tree, there's a car already under it because everybody in town knows where that tree is. So here's another little tip. Look for taller buildings, especially ones that you can park near. I recommend something like a um, Walgreens and CVS because at certain times of the day, you can pick the shade side and park right up next to the building. I also park the uh, car with the back facing the sun because it's a smaller window than the uh, windshield of course and I try to get it so that no light is coming directly in through either of the side windows and if I have to leave the dogs for example for shopping I go very early in the morning I don't leave them for very long in the car even under the best of circumstances with perfect temperatures and you name it I don't like to leave my dogs very any longer than I have to you can also go late at night I just happen to prefer early in the morning you always get a good parking spot I always cover the windshield with a sun shield and if necessary I'll put up my reflectix on any window that the sun is coming in to keep them more comfortable thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and thanks for your wonderful comments see you next time bye